I promised my father on, on his deathbed, he died of cancer, that I would never sell his cars. I would keep him as, in the family as long as I can, as long as I'm alive, which I'm doing, and I'm keeping him maintained and driving them and just looking after his most prized possessions. The 220 SE Cabriolet, the 60, has a lot of family history. My father bought that car in 1963 for my mom for their 10-year wedding anniversary. And he paid $3,100 for the car. He went to go buy the car, and there was another gentleman there wanting the car, so he gave him a $100 bill and made him go away. Ultimately, he bought the car, brought it home for my mom. He, he blindfolded her, and she stepped inside the car, and he told her, Honey, I bought you a station wagon. She smelt the leather, she felt the seats, and she said, Don, this is no station wagon. So ultimately, this car has a lot of history. I, I, as a 10-year-old, I sat in the back seat. We took multiple trips across the United States to Chicago, Washington, D.C. We went on family uh, ski trips to Mammoth. We would put a ski rack on the trunk of the car, put four sets of skis on the trunk. We would put all our luggage, ski boots, poles, in the trunk of the car, it was very crowded. My father always insisted on putting studded snow tires in the trunk also, so we absolutely had to pack very light. And I remember climbing that grade up to Mammoth in that 2.2 liter Mercedes with four people in the car, and it's just a, an experience I'll never forget. It's my favorite out of all the cars to drive. It's shifts smooth. I drive home and back to my office in that car. Well, my father started um, driving and owning Mercedes in the late 50s. He just appreciated the, the craftsmanship the, that they were hand built. For example, the, the maroon car behind me and the green car and the Gullwing were all hand built cars. Every piece of chrome on these cars was hand fitted to these cars. They're all um, numbered to that car. Just the quality and, and they're lifetime cars. I mean, obviously, look at still driving these cars every week and they're old. I mean, 1960, that car is 40, 52 years old, almost 53 years old. So he just really appreciated the quality of Mercedes. If I were to describe the 220 SE Cabriolet, the 60 car, in one word, I would just, it's just a sexy car. Just a very sexy looking car. Timeless styling. I think I've owned one new car in my whole life. I'm not really a big fan of new cars, so they kind of, they start to look all the same out there to me. <laughs>